start recording. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. Wednesday already. I'm a little bit late today. I had to go and get a cup of tea. Some things you just have to do, don't you? How are you? Come on in. Come on, grab a seat. Look, I even left the tea bag in so that I wouldn't be super late. <laughs> good morning, Susan. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning. It's nice and sunny today in Crowborough. What about where you are? What's it like where you are? Come on in, Helen. You're always at the front door. Well, you're always at the front of the class as well. <laughs> it's lovely to see familiar faces every day. Do you know that? It's really cool. Yeah. There's something very, very uh, comfortable in that, isn't there? You know, that kind of trust. And Steve, Ellen, I know you're in the building. Please, could you tell me whether the, the sound is OK? Did I press all the buttons right? Please let me know. Yes, my friends, Steve is in the building with you today. And if you've got any questions, direct them at Steve. He'll be able to help you. And I'm just letting my tea brew here. What's the weather like where you are? Hmm? It's quite nice here today. Quite sunny. It's quite sunny, a bit windy. <laughs> Dave kept saying yesterday, because it was blowing a hoolie outside the house in the evening. And um, he kept saying, I hope those oak trees hold up. And I thought, oh, I bloody hope they do too. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you need, isn't it? <laughs> there you were, watching a mediocre film with Ar about Arthur and Merlin. <laughs> it, was so it was so funny, actually. I digress, right? Come on in. <laughs> we were watching this film about Arthur and Merlin and, you know, the Dark Ages and the nasty, um, what was he? A, a, an evil druid and all this and, you know, <laughs> and then suddenly the acting wasn't that great it was pretty poor and then uh, I said that's all right I was cleaning groovy plates I was one eye on the telly one eye on the groovy plates and then <laughs> there was this peasant you know like oh, master master don't beat me don't beat me <laughs> I can't afford to pay any taxes don't take my last sheep this sort of thing and then suddenly Dave goes, he's wearing Jew Barry's. <laughs> and I looked up quickly and I kid you not, this peasant was wearing a pair of really expensive Jew Barry's. They're about 150, 200 quid, these wellies. <laughs> it was really funny. It's a sort of really expensive. Most of you know what Jew Barry's are, but if you're not English, Oh, you're not British. They're really expensive horse riders kind of wear them, boots, um, for country folk, you know. <laughs> this old peasant was wearing a pair of really, really top-notch do berries. He muddied them up a little bit, but it wasn't funny. Yeah, so that's what we were doing last night. And then out of nowhere, Dave was full of it, full of beans last night. He said, oh, because there was a gust of wind. He said, I hope those oak trees hold up in the back garden. I thought that really would be the last straw <laughs> if an oak tree, a 200, 300 year old oak tree fell in on the house. It'd be like, right, well, that's it. I'm retiring. <laughs> Let me just find somewhere to put this. Honestly. <laughs> yeah, do you barries? <laughs> Costume dress, nul point. <laughs> it was a funny film. You know one of those films where you keep waiting for the the Pape and Mache dragon to come? <laughs> Snoring flames. Yeah, Dave's good. He's so much fun watching films like that, you know. Heckler. He'd be good on Gogglebox. <laughs> Anyway, come on in. Are you all there now? I've had my little chuckle for the morning. God, oh dear. Bonjour. <laughs> is it 10 o'clock already? Of course it is. Come on in. All the newcomers will be thinking, well, she's obviously taking a happy pill. No, I haven't. <laughs> I haven't. I'm just keeping it in the day. That's all I've got to do just for today is keep it in today. 
So, good morning and welcome to the Shack Shack. Safe, happy and creative, stay home and craft. And there was another funny thing last night when we watched the telly, because it was really cold in the living room, old house, thick walls, freezing. And uh, Dave usually makes a log fire, but he hadn't last night. <laughs> so I was sitting there. And lovely Sue, Sue Harmon, I think you're, I, yes, I think it's Sue Harmon, Susan. Thank you so much for the knitted scarf that you sent me, because I was sitting in the living room, I thought, you know, a bit passive aggressive, but we'll get there. <laughs> I was sitting in the living room cleaning groovy plates with your scarf on when he came in. <laughs> How to get a message across without saying a dicky bird. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> right, cup of tea and then we'll crack on with our baubles, shall we? Ros, I didn't know you were in Crawley. Good morning, Ros. That's not far at all. Fran's in Crawley. Fran with the plans in Crawley as well, you know. Cool. Okay, come on then, let's get started. So yesterday, wow, your baubles were so... I love to go over to Clarity um, Worldwide and, and have a look at your artwork, you know. It's my way of kind of figuring out whether I've... Um, whether I've emitted the message well, you know, whether you got it. And, uh, and I think you really enjoyed that shading yesterday. You know, a lot of, a lot of the, the doodling that we do and the colouring that we do is all about light and shade, isn't it? You know, and it's worth persevering with. It's worth persevering with. It's only practice. There are no experts in this building. You know, it's, it really is only tricks and tips and a little bit of practice. It helps if you've got the right gear, you know, if you're trying to, if you're trying to shade with an HB pencil, you've got to be better than if you were shading with different variations of blackness of graphite, you know, because of course, if you've got all the different levels of shade in a tin, you know, it makes it easier. Whereas if you've only got one pencil and you have to change the pressure to get the different lightnesses, it makes it a little bit harder, that's all. But it doesn't mean it can't be done. In fact, if you can do it with an HB pencil, then happy days. You wait till you get the tin, you won't believe it. <laughs> Piece of cake. <laughs> right, come on. Waffle, waffle, waffle. How are we? Good morning. Tree down across from us today. Isabel. Boom. You don't live opposite me, do you? Have I looked? <laughs> it was coming down and the tree is very tall, I have to say. Our other little tree, our pear tree came down a few years ago and Dave planted a rowan tree, beautiful mountain ash, lovely, lovely, lovely. Um, you know the one with the red berries? Yeah. Except last year we found out he got the wrong one and they got the yellow berries. But that's fine, it's ever so pretty. <laughs> Anyway, it's very, very pretty. You know when it got really, really, really hot, like two weeks ago, like oh, too much, and it was just running down us. Um, the tree actually got sunburn. Because mm. I was looking at it thinking, it's going brown quite early, really. It's not, it's not time to shed its leaves yet, Dave. And then he said it's got scorched. Got scorched. So poor little thing, hanging on you know, in the middle of the garden, all brown and withered. And, um, and then the heavens open and boof, it doesn't know what is, doesn't know what's happening now. <laughs> now it's probably got waterlogged roots. So if it survives this, our little rowan tree, then it is a very strong, hardy little tree, I can tell you. And it's right in the path of the oak tree. <laughs> Hello. All right, come on, Gray, you're in one of them moods. Right, you ready? Let's have a recap. Which ones have I got on? Un, deux, trois. Right, ready? Okay, okay. Hmm. Last two short to be miserable. Have you got your downloads? Have you got these? Very important, muy importante. You're going to need them, even when we finish doing our doodles on Friday with the baubles. You'll love having these, honestly. That's 6.1. Bingo. 
So today, I thought we'll have a little recap. Ask Steve Ellen. He'll be able to. He'll be able to either show you the link, or he'll also, um, if you privately give him your email address, not on Facebook Live. Um, email him your email address, Stephen at Clarity Stamp. Dot com, Stephen with a V. Mm -hmm. If you send him your address, then he will um, he will print them out. If you haven't got access to a printer, and he'll send them to you. If you have got access to a printer, do us a favour, print them off. Okay, and don't forget what I said the other day. If you want to, sh if you've got access to a printer, then you just adjust the scale, and you can get these in any size you fancy. Right? Okay, come on then, let's get going. So today, what I want to look at is this one and this one, this one and this one, okay? So this is going to be cool. Yesterday, let's just have a look at where we went yesterday. This is where we, we went, didn't we? Where we, we outlined, we transferred, we learned how to do the, um, the snowflakes. We learned how to do the snowflakes individually. So you know, of course, that we could take a snowflake, for example, and we could, we could take a snowflake like that without the bauble, put a hook on it and just hang those up, couldn't we? You know, you can look. Wouldn't that look lovely as a card now? Use your imagination. If if you had a bauble, but that one a bit further down, and then you took the snowflakes and you hung them in the back. So you had one bauble and then three dangles. Let's call them dangles. Right, and then you just make a little hook and just hang the, the snowflakes, the little ones, and the smaller ones, not necessarily at the top, but they look further away if you put them a bit lower down. Interesting, huh? So, so there you go. So we've got dangles and we've got baubles. And then what we did was we, um, I also suggested that perhaps you, you try the bauble, but without the line art, which would require a few more snowflakes inside to, to establish the, the shape of the, of any of the baubles. You see, you could take any bauble and you could, you could establish the shape just by making sure that you, you, own, you use partial art. Let's call it partial art. So you do a partial snowflake inside or a partial star. And then that's how you establish the, the, the outline, don't you? So this is going to be my project. I did two of them. Look. I did a little one with the stars. Can you see that? And then I did one with the snowflake. But I want to try and do this with... Uh, with shading, right, just like that, but with colour. So instead of having the line art around the outside, I want to establish this um, with colour, like with a red pencil, a polychroma, or something like that. That's that's going to be my my project. Just ideas, you know. But it would be great to see if you if you can do this. You need to ink up the inside leave the outside and then add the shadow just as we did yesterday but with a colour and see what happens. That's going to be my project. But I thought we'd have a go at this one today. Now you can't see it very well so let me bring in the tracing paper. Now you can see it much better. So this, you know, the star, when we, when we started out, we started out with the star, didn't we? Let me take this away for a minute. We start, let me take that away for a minute. We started out with, do you remember when, a week ago today, in fact, we did the stars, didn't we? And we used the six pointer and we went in like that. Do you remember? There's the center. And we used the six points and you can make them as small or as large. Look, how many options have you got, right? And then we, then, then we showed you how to, look, there's a little hook. Then you, how you can make them tall, but reduce, and you can do this arbitrarily. You can go as tall or as small, it's, it's entirely up to you, right? But all roads lead to the middle. And what's interesting is, when you, when you look at that one, get your eye in on this. Just stare at this and imagine that this is embedded. Can you understand? So this is the top and then it's gone right in like that. Okay. 
See that one? Difficult to imagine it's embedded. It all depends on these lines, right? If you, depending on how you shade this, right? Or depending on how you shade this, let me just show you something. If I was to make that the base now, this is coming up. Pretend it's coming up to meet you. Imagine that. So then this is actually at the top, it's raised. If I were to turn this around, it's, it's actually like up like that. It's on the side. Wouldn't that be? And this star is here and it comes like that. So you could, you, by shading, you can change how you, as soon as you start to put lines in like this, even in the smallest one, it will drop it back in again when you put shadow in the middle. Then suddenly that bit's dropped inside. Yeah? So I know you probably can't see it because I'm too far away, but you, you'll get it, you'll get it. So what we're going to do is take this star and we're going to put it inside a bauble, but we're going to dr drop it all the way through so that it looks completely as though it's inside, like the old German ones. You, you, can you see what I'm seeing? Yeah, and these are pearls around the outside. These are raised, like little bobbles all the way around, and this drops in. And that's what we're going to create with shadow. I mean, it's all flat as a tack, isn't it? So that's what I've got here. Very, very lightly done. Haven't inked it yet. I thought I'd get you to catch up with me first. So that's what we're doing. What do we need to do that? We need this one, right? So you need this download, the big one. And I thought we'd go to a different bauble. You could do, if you've only got, if you haven't got the bauble download, you could do this on a round. This, this that, um, that, will sit lovely on the round one. Of course it will. Mm -hmm. um, but we just done the round one, so I thought, oh, let's try a different shape. Just try it, mix it up a little bit. Oh, and also I can show you a little trick while we're doing that. So let's have a cup of tea. No rushing here, just for today. Everybody all right? Can't look too far ahead. Makes you panic. Just got to keep it in the day. And just for today, all we've got to do is master these baubles, all right? That's what I'm doing. Right, so you need that. Let me come in a little bit tighter. I think that might help. Let me just do put that there, put that camera on, and then I, I know how, how tight to come. Right, you ready? Okay, let's check it out. Right, I reckon that'd probably be right. Yeah, that's, that's better, isn't it? You want to be able to see what we're doing. Okay, so the first thing, right, you ready? You need a bit of tracing paper. You got a tracing paper? Ah, oh, Barbara, oh, that's the... Right, here it is. Okay, piece of tracing paper. <coughs> Do it. I've been saying for months that tracing paper is a good thing, and now you understand why. It's not just to copy stuff, it's to, it's an overlay. It's an overlay, right? So right, we're gonna use that one in a minute, put that there to one side. That's me already gone. So what I want now is this bauble here, okay? Let's use that bauble. Okay. And I'll, I'll use it at the bottom of the page only because, so that I, yeah, so that you can see what I'm doing. Right, so that means that I'm, I'm just, look, I'm just gonna pop that on like so to hold it in place while I'm working. And I'm gonna end up with my, instead of in the middle like that, I'm gonna put, put it there. I'm, I'm putting it on the side, doesn't matter, does it? It's my template. So this is the shape that I'm going for. But look, I'm modifying it, do you see? but we could do that afterwards. Let's just go with this shape on the outside and then we can change it to, it kind of, it sits better. Can you see what I'm getting at? The outside of this one is lovely, right? But it doesn't really work with this center thing. So 
we'll change it it's easy to change right HB at the ready I have got Julie did buy me a set of HB pencils but I haven't I keep forgetting to bring them in from the house right so we're going round here let's get this one in first right and we're just going to trace this okay right head over the top so I'm going to wrong glasses day madness right are you ready to rock and roll does this sound all right or do I keep jiggling right here we go I'm going to change this anyway but it'll give us a rough idea just to centre the circle in the middle of the star right here we go turn it round make the artwork come to you Around we go. Go back over what you just drew. And then let's just get a little. And don't forget what you're drawing on the tracing paper is just your guide, your, your, your draft, your rough. There we are. So we've got that, haven't we? See? And then what we're going to do now, we're going to lift this off. That wasn't so hard, was it? We need our shape to start with. Don't worry, we'll come back to it. We'll change it. Move that out of the way now and bring this, this fella in. All right, let me just think for a minute. Yeah, so, so what we're going to do <clears throat> in a minute, we're going to use this. This is what we need. But first of all, just to think it through, what we first before we do anything else, we need the star. We need to decide. See, so we've got all, and that's why when you start using, this is the best thing about tracing paper. See, I can start overlaying my plans. So I've got that one, like that. But does that one, do you want the middle of the, the star there? See, as long as I've got this on this line, it's where do I want to put the centre? Depends, it depends how big my star is. So if that's the star that I'm going for, there, remember this is going to be buried inside. It's one of those. So now I'm moving this one around. Do you see what I'm getting at? I just want to show you how, you, how it works. So once I've decided where my star is, this is my template. Now... If you, you see how it comes together when you put the two together. But what I want to say is, I think most of you have got this star already, have you not? If not, let's just, let's just get this sorted. So this is the star that I'm after. And that's where we're going to put it. So just to recap, if you haven't got the star, get, your, get this one then. And let's get this star sorted, because this is definitely the one we're using. It's the same as this one. It's a, it's a popular one. Okay. <laughs> right. So just for... The, I'm going to assume that there's somebody that hasn't got the star. So it's all right for the, for the rest of us. Okay. So from the centre now, let's go... Have we got this one? Or from the outside? Let's have a look. One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, <clears throat> seventeen in. Okay, and then this is seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. So we we're using seventeen slash twenty-one, right from the outside. That's all we need to know. That's all we need to know. Seventeen to twenty-one. So that means that here. If I, if I take my, my star, right, I'm going to count 17 in. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17. And then I'm just, then I know that this is the, the star I'm after. Let's just do, let's start afresh with the star just because people are dipping in and out now. And I know that because people have got to go to work and so on. Right, so I've got 17. And then from there, halfway down, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So then on this one, I'm going to come round and just put 
this one in. See, once you figure out how this, how it works, it's it's not hard, is it? See, and then this gets joined up with that, gets joined up with that, and you just join these up, and this is how you get your six point star. So it's a very quick recap. But it's, it's well worth knowing that's how we arrive at this star, okay? Okay, there you are, sorted. Oh, and while you're there, while you're there, put a dot in the middle. It just is good for orientation. It helps a lot, okay? Right, so that's your star that we're going to use in the centre of our bubble, 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 like that. Right, so now we've got that bit. So that's going to go in there, okay? That's going to be our star. Right, so the next thing we need is a cup of tea. Let's have a sip of tea and have a think for a minute. Right, so once I've got my, my star, I can decide now, let's get rid of all this gubbins behind here because it's getting more and more complicated, Barbara. Right, so I've got my bauble, I've got my star, and now I'm going to construct it. Don't worry about the outer, the circle, that round the outside. We could do that afterwards. Star's more important, okay? So let me just give you a bit of whiteness. Right, so now I've got this. I've got my, I'm going to draw my star now into place where I think I want it. See? Does that, does that make sense? Yeah, total sense, Grey. Right, so that's going to come down like that. Perfect. Yeah? See, you, you may be saying, well, why didn't you do that directly from the... Why didn't you put it straight there from, from here? Of course you can if you want to. But you also... Um, A lot of people won't know where I got the star from to start with, so it gets a little bit too too many layers going on. So this is much, much easier, right, for the average bear, just to re how long does it take to reconstruct it? Right, and then now we'll get, now I'm gonna be a bit more careful about my star. Right, so now we've got her in, we've got the star in place. Yeah? Right. Once we've got the shapes in, the rest gets quite easy. There, look. Okay. So, right, stars in, baubles in, lines. That's, the lines are when it's going to drop in. But we'll do that afterwards. Don't forget your little dot in the middle. Right. Okay. So I've got my star template, I've got that, I put that to one side, now I've got this much. Follow me? Okay, this is not, not difficult, is it? Now the next thing we need, we're going to go back to our template, oh it's here, this one, and I just want to see, let me just ask myself something, just hang on a second, I just want to check something out. I want to check something out. Just, see that's tight. That will work as well, but it's really tight. So I'm just trying to decide whether to go with the larger one. Let me just check something out. Uh, oh, the smaller one. Smaller one, smaller one it is. Right, we're going with the smaller one, okay? Yeah. Okay, go with the smaller one on this, yeah? Sorry about that. Recap, recap. Got a lot going on at the moment. My head is filled. Right, you ready? So now I've got my, this is the first time we've used this particular little gem, isn't it? Right, just tape it into place. And what we're looking for here, right, what we're looking for 
is the lines around the outside. We'll, we'll rub them out, we won't use them, but it's what helps us put the pearls in the right place. And what you'll see is that the, the star points, they, they protrude a little bit. So that's fine though. So what we're going to do is just come round here, just make your, your lines. I'm, I'm actually going a little bit this time, because I think it looks better. I'm going a little bit outside the line so that I'm joining up the... Do you see what I mean? I'm actually going outside the grid on this line here. I, I know I'm not making sense here at all. I'm going to go from the tip so I'm out. I'm not going on the line. I'm going away from the line a little bit so that the star is not embedded in the... Right, so here... Let me just do it really dark so you can see what I'm talking about. Right, so you can see that I'm off the line. It's just easier, okay? So I'm going to make my line all the way around. Make sure that the... All this does is give you a, a gully to add your pearls and... And the pearls, let me tell you, right? When we when we start doing the pearls, to, I want to get this one out of the way today. What's time? Half past. This will be easy. I want to sort this one out today because tomorrow I'm moving on to the pearls. I'm telling you, we've got something really nice lined up for tomorrow. So, who's we? The royal we. You and I are going to do something really smashing. Right, so I've done that line. Okay, around the outside of the star, and then I'm going to catch the other, the one, the next one out. So now I'm going to, I've done that one a little bit further up, and now I'm going to come around this one. Okay, and then this one is my thing moving a bit. That's handy. Don't move while I'm working. Right. Oh, the joys of low-tack masking tape. Right, okay. So now I'm going to put this one in, which is going to be... It's just so that I get my pearls in the right place, that's all. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about when you... when you. I did look for these baubles, but they were buried. I thought, oh, no. I'd have to dismantle this, the loft to find these. And I didn't have the time. Right. So now, there's my... You see? That's all I've got to do at this stage. And then, these lines are crucial for this thing. So what we're going to do now is put a, a, a pearl in between those two lines. OK? So you put a pearl there like that. Put a pearl, put a pearl on the tips of each... That's going to be a good starting place. Nice round. When you do when you do pearls, really you want to kind of levitate above the paper before you co you commit, and then it will be round. So you just hover a bit. Don't go straight down like that. It'll never work. Ho just get your eye in on a circle, and then as you come down, it'll be perfect. Okay. So round we go, and then you've got your your pearls. And what we're going to do is put a pearl on every on every line. Doesn't matter if there's a little gap in between the pearls. Happy days. We don't mind the gaps. So now you're just going to go round and you're going to put a pearl, you see, all the way round. So if I lift this off, that's what we've got. Pearls. And it's good if there's a little gap because it gives you a really good... Uh, opportunity for a shadow. There you go. So around you go, put your pearls in. So you levitate for a little while and then you come down. That's it. Cool. Don't take long. Round. See, I'm not touching and then I come down. So they're quite uniform, aren't they? Well, they're supposed to be, but 
I don't know. If it was computer generated, it would be computer generated. But it's not, is it? It's handmade. It's hand drawn. And whilst you want to get it perfect so that it looks like it was drawn in a computer, there's something much, much, much more charming about something that's created by hand. And and the other thing is, once you pen it, well, this is just sketching, isn't it? When you pen it, that's when it starts to really look look like. Um, that's when it really looks good. So now we're going to create the illusion of going in, inside. So what we're going to do next is the lines. And that's why you need this grid. Look, because now we're going to add these lines. And what will happen is because there's so many of them, it'll automatically get darker in there. You see now, so this is great for establishing the points. But how would I find these lines if I couldn't, if I didn't have a wheel like this? So that's, that's the bottom line. This is fantastic, really, really fantastic for, for that, for coming in and going out or coming in like that or stretching up. That's what this nest is for. But the wheel is all about that. It's all about this. And, and so this will give you that divide. And then, so what we want to do now, is get your ruler, get your ruler, ruler. Right, and now we're just going to add the lines all the way around. And my suggestion, because you see when you lift it up, so that's the first one. My suggestion is that you literally, as we do this, you always have to be in the middle like that and then you turn it to the next one. See? And then you go in there and you do that one. And then you go in the middle and you turn it to the next one. And then as you do that, as long as you've got this one lined up, that one will be in the right place. Right? Then put your pencil in the middle again and go again. And as you go round, hang on, where have I been? That's it. But the pencil in the centre, if you hold it in the centre, maybe you don't need to do that. But I find that when I do that, I just rotate around the pencil. Let me get my head out of the way. Like that. So that way, you see, as I'm going round, oh, Barbara, you divvy. What you do need to do, though, I'm so concentrated on... Stupid girl. Hang on a minute. Don't do that. Try and stay in the star. <laughs> it's a good job it's a scrap one. Right, so it's because there's so many lines up behind here, I can't see what I'm doing. Let me lift that off a minute. Right, correction. I told you there was no experts in this building. Good job we're doing it on scrap. Right, so try and stay in the star as well. That's what happens when you're trying to talk and waffle and explain as well. But I tell you what, it doesn't matter. It still looks good. Okay. Right, so, correction. Don't go right out to the circle. Stay in the star. That's why we drew the star to start with, Grey. Duh. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, rewind. Good job it's not live TV, isn't it? <laughs> hey, I'll tell you what. Good job it's not pen work. And do you know what? Even if it was, so what? It's a bit of tracing paper and a... Take me two minutes to recap, wouldn't it? Oh, I know. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Right, you ready? Okay. Just for today, we're not going to sweat the small stuff, all right? Just for today, we're not going to sweat the small stuff, guys. Right. So put that in place like that. If we worry about stuff like that, what are we going to do when the tree falls in on the house? <laughs> right? I really must bring that pencil set in from the house, Julie. <laughs> right, Ray. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to stop when you get to the star. Silly girl. Right, ready? I'm going to put it on that one. Only because I can't, 
I can't lean over and look at what I'm doing. Right, so where was I before I was so rudely interrupted? Oh, yeah, 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 okay. So that's it. And then I'm just going to go for it now. You Are you up for this? Right, get the old line going. As long as it's in place, that's it. Round we go. Have I done... I haven't done it again, have I? Right, star. Just keep saying, star, star, star. So you don't even need that much line then, do you? Hey? See, it gets more difficult. Do you know why? I know this is why. Right, okay. Just concentrate. I'm going to go quiet now. <laughs> Is this working? Check what you're doing. Have a look at what you've got. Oh, it's much easier once you get your eye in. <sighs> Sticky. I'll tell you what I am going to do is take the groovy grip off so I can slide more. I need to slide more. Right. Let's get my lines back in the right place, Grey. Come on. Slowly, slowly. You see why we're doing this on day seven or day whatever it is and not day one? All right, let's have a look. Oh, yeah, no, look. Doesn't that look pretty? <sighs> okay. <laughs> so I've done that one. That was the last one I did. So now I'm going to come round to that one. Star, star, star. Stay inside the star. Points. I bet you've already done, I bet you've got done about four, haven't you? It's just me fannying about. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right, take your time. It's not a race. It's quite trippy, isn't it? <laughs> Can I wonder, I can't see what I'm doing. Blimey, if you've got cataracts or bifocals as well, you've got absolutely no hope here. Have I finished yet? Oh, no, I've still got a couple more to go. But, you know, that's actually well worth bearing in mind, right? Think about this now, pattern builders. If you had the wheel, if you used the wheel, little or large, depending, you could make beautiful doodles. Do, do you know what I mean? Like, really lovely sort of... Just... Again, in part, partial. Really nice, actually. Mm hmm. Am I the only one that went over the lines? And were you all shouting at the telly? <laughs> <laughs> Usually am. There you go. Wasn't so hard, was it? <laughs> I need to lie down in a room. There you go. Sorted. Right, get that off there for a moment. Now let's have a look at what we've got from above. See? Easy. But you can now look at it and that's down buried inside the, do you see? And then we can always add a bit of shadow afterwards. But all I need is, because in a minute I'm going to turn that over and we're going to transfer that to our uh, card, which I've already done, fortunately. <laughs> I've already done it. Phew, phew. All right. OK. Now, while we're hit still here on this side, one more little thing. This is going to be a piece of cake for you. Along this edge here, just make... A, a ridge. It's all right, it's a shadowing thing. See around the edge there? Just make an, another line. Look, maybe I'll show you on this one. If I show you on this one, you'll see it. Right. See? See the line that's around the outside? There's another little bit here. You got it? Right, so we're just going to do that line. And then we'll be nearly there. So if I'm not mistaken then, right, so that's the best way to do it, is make a little dot and then 
just run a line along there like that. Make a little dot and then run a line along there like so. Yeah. And then when we do the shading, you see, this is just add another layer of shadow. That's all. Another level. When we do the pearls as well. Turn the artwork. Okay. Now, the next thing I want to do, once we've done this, See, it looks better, doesn't it? With a bit of a... I mean, I've made this up. I didn't look... I wish I could have looked it up. I didn't. I didn't. And I, I've worked it out myself. So it's not bulletproof. <laughs> it's, it is what it is. Okay? It's, we're creating a prototype here. Let's have a look. Oh, a little bit close to the edge there. Also, can we have a little shout out? I mustn't forget. Can we have a little shout out for Jane Telford? She was taken into hospital and had an emergency operation yesterday. Mm. But she's all right. She was back out on the ward drinking tea and eating biscuits by yesterday evening. But I bet she's on her phone now watching. I bet she's either that or she's having a nap. But either way, can we have a... Just a hello, Jane. Hope you're all right. Hope that everything's okay. Hope Colin's okay too. Right, there you go. Jane Telford is, uh, she's a dear friend and she's also really talented. She's always in here anyway, isn't she? That's why she's not here today. Or is she? Jane, are you here? <laughs> oh yeah, I bet, I bet she is. Well, Jane, I hope you're doing all right. Lots of love to you. Now, what I want to do, though, see, that shape looks a bit weird to me. Does it to you as well? I think it would look better if it were rounder, like that. Rounder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to make it rounder. You don't have to always settle for what you've, what you've got. So let's have a look. If I come round here, if I go like, see if this looks better. If I do that. So if I come round here then, that comes round like that. And then I can... So then you've got to imagine that that's not going to be there. I think that would look much better, don't you? I do. Right, so, okay. We're committing, not committed. Right. There you go. So I reckon that works actually really nicely like that. In fact, if I rub this one out, then I'll have a better idea of what it looks like. This, oh, do you know what this, I've just had a flashback. <laughs> I've just had a flashback to the hot air balloon. Has anyone else just had that moment? <laughs> See, that looks better. I quite like that. Right, so we've come round here like that. We've come round like that, I reckon. Could even make it a bit fatter. Yeah. So then I'm coming in like this one, okay? So you just change it, but it's a lot easier to change an existing shape like that. There you go, bang on, right? So then if I come round like so, all right. Very different to that, isn't it? <laughs> I bet we've got one on here that's just, no, we haven't, I'm joking. Right, but I think that looks good, don't you? So now, how do we make this exactly the same? Piece of cake. Oh, all hail to the... Aren't we glad that we use tracing paper? Just fold it in half, and all you've got to look at is the, the, the centre pieces. Don't worry about folding it, it's fine. Right. So now we're folding it right in the middle like that. So the tips, the, the tips right, that's not quite in the middle, Gray. Just roll it through your fingers. This is what this is what a template is for. Okay, to get this right. Right, so now 
What have I got going on there? Right. And just fold that up. It wasn't quite as radical as that last time, Barbara. Right, so that's that side. But now we want to change this side. So I can just trace it, look. That's it. So this is how we get a symmetrical. Let's go around there like that. All right, boom. That's it. And that's how you get a symmetrical piece of cake, isn't it? And then, tell you what then, it really is your bauble. Okay. But that's how you change, just by using. <clears throat> One of the advantages of tracing paper is, of course, it's transparency. So now, I just want to turn that over to... That'll do. It's cool. So I've got my bauble, I've changed the shape. You can change it any way you like. And now it's symmetrical as well. Okay? Bingo. Hmm? Nice. And when we pen it, when we pen it, what we're going to get rid of is this line. You see the line around the outside? That All that did was give us a, a, a gully to put our pearls. So they're not going to be there. I mean, you don't have to rub them out. Well, I do, because I'm, it, uh, my head at the moment, I would go and draw them. That seems to be the, the trend at the moment. Right. But if I do that, if I break it, then it will remind me not to. It just reminds me not to. Okay. What's time? Okay, we could do this. Right, so now we've got this and we've we've got our template. <sighs> so actually, quite a few little tricks and tips in this one, aren't there? Hey? Have you kept up with me or have you all cleared off and left me? <laughs> it's alright. I understand. What's that saying? Sound is okay. Well, glad to hear it. <laughs> Okie dokie. So now we want to transfer this to a piece of card or copy paper or whatever or watercolour paper or whatever you fancy. So the trick now is to turn it to the back, get a piece of card Get a nice piece of card or whatever you fancy transferring it to. Yeah? Now let me have a think now. If I, I want to put a, I'm going to put a large one a bit further over so I leave room for a small one there. And then I'm going to make sure that it doesn't move while I'm working. So I'll use a bit of low tech masking tape. Make sure that I'm, I'm in the right place. I like it there. I like it. See? And then let's just make sure that while we're working, have you got your pencil? Now, what pencil are we using? We're we using an H or a, I reckon the HB would probably do it. Let me just check. <clears throat> yep. So then what we're going to do now is just trace it out. So now we're just going to go back over. See, but there's no, you're not going to get any marks on your hands here. Because what we're doing is we're just transferring the graphite or the, the lead, aren't we? There it is. See it? Certainly good enough to be able to pen afterwards. Right, here we go. Round and round. We. Oh, that was a, a long sweep, Grey. For a ropey morning. Right, there we go. Round we go. And, and what you're doing now, you see, you've drawn your own bauble. If you'd modified the shape as well. There we are. So this isn't one of the templates. This is your job. Look, see? It's cool, eh? And then, once you've got that shape, then what we're going to do, it's up to you which way you want to go first. I'll probably start with the circles. Just go round and draw them in, the pearls. 
So we'll get the pearls in. What's the time? We're all right for time, aren't we? I bet we could do this, you know. Right. Let's have a look. I'm wondering with that. I'm, I'm, the jury's out on that middle one. I'm not sure. I, the ones on the actual tips, I'm thinking I may just... I, I, oh, I used to suffer from indecision, but I'm not sure anymore. I'm just wondering whether it might look nicer if instead of putting that there, we came out like that. Do you see what I mean? So instead of putting the... Instead of putting a ball there, we put the, the tips out there. Well, that's all right. We can still adjust that easily, can't we? We just have to rub that bit out and add, add a... Add a, um, a tip before you pen it. That's that's all you got to do is do that before you pen it. Right, and now we've done that bit, let's get our... This won't take long, will it? Done it a few times now. I'm taking my... Uh, cool, we're taking the ball by the horns this evening. So I... I... Um, I, I don't know how you feel about it, but I'm not really getting the guidelines, you know. And so, like, my mum and dad, my mum especially, she hasn't been shopping. And for a woman, that you know, grocery shopping, when you get so crikey, she said, I would love to be able to just go to Marks and Spencer's, she said, and, and do some shopping. And I thought, well, it's not too much to ask, really, is it? You know? So that's one of the reasons why... We took a, you know, I, I ventured out into the high street on a busy morning in Lewis because I thought I want to know how it works in shops and that before I take my mum. So tonight, I tried to do her shopping online but it was a disaster because it sold out of everything she wanted. So I said, right mum, brace yourself. I'm taking you to Marks and Spencer's tonight. She was so excited. She was so excited. She said, that would be wonderful. Well, she's German, that's why she speaks like that. And she's so excited that we're going to go to Marks. And you think, oh, what a funny old world we live in. When going to Marks and Sparks is like a dream come true. <laughs> You've got to wonder. But I get it. I get why my mum... Let's have a look. Yes, it's working, see? I get, I, I do get why my mum wants to do that. Of course I do. Oh, I understand. But I just, you know, I'm not, I'm not getting the guidelines. I'm not, I'm not hearing what we're supposed to be doing. Uh, what happened to all those, those vulnerable people that all, all locked, all went into lockdown, like my mum and my dad and all those people that, that weren't allowed to go out. Now suddenly, well, I don't remember hearing, well, you can go now, or no, it's okay, uh, or don't go now, or... So in the end, you've, got to, you've just got to figure it out for yourself, haven't you? I think we've just got to use our loaves. So today, um, for better or for worse, mask on, I thought Wednesday night, really quiet, won't get there till seven, quieter, you know. And um, that's, I think, okay. I think it'll be okay. But you know, you do, you do, you do do wonder, don't you? Why, how it is that, that, that we're not getting any kind of I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm listening to the wrong channel, but why aren't we getting any info? Why aren't we getting any feedback? Right now, it'll be easy to do this because the star is clearly defined, isn't it? So all I'm going to do, I'm going to start with the the obvious ones, like this. There we go. Yeah, so highlight, Marks and Spencers. I, I haven't been either. I huh, been to a supermarket. If I was going to go with anyone, it would be with my mum. So that's what I'm going to do. 
And I'm hoping that this hasn't moved while I've been doing this. <laughs> there you go. So there's my, you see what I'm doing, can't you? So I've got my nearly, I just need to add the rest of my lines. Just keep going. Exactly what we did on the tracing paper. So I'm going to, I'm going to just, I'm going to love you and leave you though. But you get how it works and you get that illusion of depth, don't you? And you'll see when I lift this away slowly, I'm going to start, I'm going to add all those lines in there exactly the same as I did on the, let's have a look where we just got to, right? And you'll see we're going to do exactly the same thing all the way around like so, yeah? Nice. And then maybe what we could do tomorrow, tomorrow what I'll do is I'll come, we'll come back to this one because this isn't finished yet. We'll create the, pen it, do me a favour, pen, pen the, the, the star, pen the star and, um, or let me think for a minute, just stop for a minute. What about, instead of penning it, I've got a better idea. I've got a better idea. Instead of penning it, right, get it to pencil so that all the lines are in place and then tomorrow we'll, we'll add the shadow but we'll do it with, instead of having black line art to work with, we'll work with pencil art and we'll see how it works if we use pencil, perhaps a little bit of colour. And you know what I was saying about the star one? Let's try this one just in pencil rather than having to work with a really black ink line. We'll try that. And then, and then you've got the best of both worlds, haven't you? You've done one in, you've done one in ink, and we'll do one in pencil. I think that's a good idea. So all you need to do is get this one to transferred on card, and then tomorrow we'll shade it. And then tomorrow we're going pearly. We're going pearly. So I'm looking forward to that one. And um, wish me luck at Marks and Spencers with me, Mum. Steve, thank you very much for your help today. And um, yeah. So get that ready for manana, and I'll see you at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Hope you enjoyed that. Lots of love to you. Be safe. Bye-bye now.